In this video we're looking at putting text on a path in Affinity Designer. This is really for beginners and it's for the iPad. Text on a path in Affinity Designer for the iPad. So the first thing you do is open Affinity Designer on your iPad. Then open the file you need the shaped text in. So you're going to put a shape in here and put some text in there that will follow along the path of the shape. Create the design or shape you would like to add text to and you use that by using the shape tool. And you can see in there I've put a heart in the centre of the floral display. Now select your design or shape and you can do this also. You can see I've got the layers studio selected so you can make sure you're on your shape by clicking on the layer that the shape is in. Now select the artistic text tool in the left toolbar and you can see I've got the appropriate layer selected. Lightly tap the shape line. So I use an Apple pencil and you just tap the pencil lightly on the shape line. That's the outline of the shape. <clears throat> You'll see a teeny green wedge appear. It's a, it's a wedge shape I guess is the best way of describing it. And opposite that on the line will be a red wedge shape. This creates your shape to a text path and you can see the layer has changed to reflect that. It's, the layer is now telling you it's a shaped path text. Shape path text layer. Now you can now type your text and you can drag the green and red wedges along the line to fix your starting and ending positions including inside and outside the shape. So if you tap outside the shape, you can start typing outside the shape. Inside, you can start typing inside the shape. Those red and green wedges control where your text appears and you can push them along and I'll show you that in the next section. Text added to the shape will stay inside the confines of that shape or will stay on the outside of the confines of that shape. Now I've used a heart shape, probably not the best one. A circle may have been more appropriate, but you can experiment with that. Text pushed along the shape by dragging the handles, that's those red and green handles, can be flipped to the outside of that shape or vice versa. But a note of caution, Always start typing your text with a space first. So type a space with a, and then typing your text. This will become important if you try and separate the text at the red and green junctions if you've got a lot of text. And that's the end of that little exercise. If you'd like updates or to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. It's on YouTube, Robert Chalmers, easy to find. Subscribe, tap the bell for reminders of updates to videos or new videos, and press the thumbs up for a like if, if you would. Thank you for watching.